Morning guys, Mark Farashi, Pro Tech Dog Training, heading down the road. We just went from New Mexico into Texas. So we've got another day's drive before we get to our location in Missouri with the dogs. It's kind of a cool thing because um, when you're on road trips and you're traveling with a lot of dogs and you're going down the road, you have to create kind of a lifestyle. You gotta get the dogs out to break them and we have to stop, give them a half hour or so takes us probably 45 minutes depends on how many dogs I think when Tina and we did it we had 14 dogs it took us about an hour to break all the dogs so you got to do that every three four hours and uh, there's little tricks one of the things I always try to I learned when I was with Tina just going through the experience is a bowl of water so the first thing we do is get the bowl full of the water put it out outside fill it up and then when the dogs come out each dog is getting broke individually in this case because I've got all the males um, You've got to keep them under control. You're in a public environment most of the time. So you let them out, you let them get a drink, and then you right away go out to breaking the dogs, let them have a potty break, that kind of thing, and you're doing your routine with either feeding them or whatever you're doing to travel down the road. But when you create patterns, patterns and routines are a big part of training. So you start creating patterns, and hey, Rex, good boy. That's his year's service dog. And he is definitely qualified, huh, buddy, huh? So um, you end up creating a pattern and routine that becomes very something that stabilizes the animal so that you have a, a relatively uh, safe travel down the freeways. And most of my dogs are all put on long lines when I come out and I keep them on a leash and a long line unless we have a dog park to use. And you create little patterns and routines that makes it easier for the dog and less stressful on the dog and you, right? So. Travel is kind of a neat thing. You don't do it every day, but every now and then you'll be traveling when you go down to a trial or go someplace and do something. In this case, we're delivering Creed, the canine, police canine, to an officer in Missouri. So one more day of drive. It'll be eight hours is what we've got on the clock. And we'll drive straight through with a couple stops and breaks and all that good stuff and then get settled, settled in our location to spend a few days with the officer there to be able to transfer the training over to the officer and give him enough insight with what I've done with him so that the officer can start to build his bond and his relationship with Creed, right? So that's enough of my yakking and uh, we'll get you some more videos as we get in our location and start you'll get start to see some dogs, right? Right now all you're seeing is road and there's a lot of it, you know, a lot of um, open space coming through the United States into Missouri. Open roads with uh, flat space. So we will talk to you soon. You have a good day. I've got no uh, internet feed out here, so we're just taping this and I'll push it up to Facebook. So, have any questions? Like to say hi? Give a little comment on the thread. We appreciate it. And like and subscribe to me on YouTube. That's where this is going to go. So, I never really push you guys to subscribe and hit the like button like a lot of people do. And I don't have a lot of bells and whistles. I apologize for that. But that's just one extra uh, amount of uh, work and effort that you've got to put into doing the videos. And yeah, it gets you a lot more hits and you get a lot more numbers. But it uh, doesn't uh, really really uh, do the job of uh, the expertise and things that I try to bring you guys with what the subjects that I try to cover. So we'll get back into more of it as we go along. Maybe as we go along, I've always said this, but sooner or later, we'll get somebody to help us out with the technological side of things. Sooner or later, we'll get some technological gurus to help out and bring up our standards a little bit in that regard. But it's more about dog training for me than it is the bells and the whistles, as you guys know. So we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Heading down the road. Mark Farashi, Pro Tech Dog Training in Texas. Azure says he wants to go get a big steak because that's what Texas is famous for. Steak. We got to stop and get a steak. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.